YouTube. YouTube is a public video sharing platform that millions of users use daily to upload videos, such as the ones you see here. Believe it or not, this is what YouTube looked like about 12 years ago, in 2005. This archived version of YouTube was meant to be a dating site based off of the Hot or Not site, but it didn't really catch on. Susan replaced Salar Kamangar and became the CEO of YouTube in February 2014. Susan Wajiki, born a decade after the dinosaurs became extinct, July 5th, 1968. Her father was a Russian Jewish educator and her mother was a professor at Stanford University. She grew up in the Stanford campus. She got her Master's of Science in Economics from University of California, Santa Cruz in 1993. Wow. Susan has two sisters, Janet and Anne Wojcicki. Susan attended Gunn High School and graduated in 1986 with honors. She also got her master's in business administration from UCLA in 1998. She studied history and literature at Harvard, yes, Harvard, and graduated with honors, yes, honors at Harvard. Wow, wow, wow. She was married with Dennis Troper on August 23rd, 1998. She had five babies with Dennis Troper. Five whole babies, that's a lot of babies. Oh my God, five babies. Before she was a CEO of YouTube, she was the 16th employee of Google in 1999. While she was at Google, she served as senior vice president, overseeing advertising and commerce. She also helped to lead the teams that helped to define the vision and direction of Google's monetization platforms for 12 years. YouTube aims to give everyone a voice and to allow them to share it. YouTube is part of our society's culture. It is the most popular video sharing platform worldwide. When someone needs to learn how to do something, they often look up instructional videos on YouTube. An example is how someone could learn how to change the oil in their car or do their makeup like a certain celebrity. YouTube is also a very popular place for people to turn to for entertainment. There are countless hours of video, ranging from stand-up comedy to scripted skits to entertaining vlogs. After researching about Susan, we decided that we love to have her in the CEO. Especially because of her generous family benefits and leadership style. Describe your management style in one word. Supportive. Does it make a profit? Right now we're investing in YouTube. I think we're still pretty early in the online video market. And so really our focus has been in investing in it as opposed to um, making a profit right now. Will YouTube always be free? Well, right now we're working on enabling a subscription service for our users because we think there are going to be some users that are going to want to have choice and see it without ads. And then we also think that it's an opportunity for our partners to be able to also have other revenue models too. Let's see here. I count $1, $2, $3, $410 as of June 8th, 2017. Wojcicki hopes to retain more women, too, with flexible work hours, special parking for expected mothers, and a paid maternity leave of 18 weeks, one of the best in the country. I think it's really important to take time off, and I've also found that sometimes you get really good insights by taking time off, too. Why do you think paid maternity leave is so important for businesses to embrace, and why they should encourage longer? paid maternity leave. There's about $2 trillion of spend that's determined by, by women and moms. And so having women in the workforce is really, really important for us. And uh, when I thought about what it was like to come back to work after 10 days after I just had my fifth child, on day 10, I was thinking, wow, what if I had to go back right now? I, I don't think I could have done it. Some of the most critical learnings for Susan included not giving up and to also have a vision of where you want to go. Jiski has advocated for government-mandated paid maternity leave. She wrote this op-ed in the Wall Street Journal last December while pregnant with her fifth child. Susan also advocates for more women in top roles at ten companies. As CEO, Susan represents the company. Her beliefs are reflected in YouTube's four essential values. Freedom of expression, freedom of information, freedom of opportunity, and freedom to belong. Recently, Susan Wojcicki had apologized 
to the major advertisers for not dealing with offensive content on the ad revenue platform, which caused YouTube's revenue to drop 10%. Susan's love of facts, do her to room to read. Wojcicki partnered up with Room to Read, which helped combat illiteracy in children, especially little girls in Asia and Africa. Susan believed in the organization's commitment to ensure gender equality and education. Susan has also been involved with the World Economic Forum, an international organization for public-private cooperation committed to improving the state of the world. With all of her hard work, she has earned many titles, such as America's Richest Self-Made Woman, the most powerful woman in advertising, tech, and on the internet, as well as being on lists of top powerful women and most influential people in the world. On November 8, 2006, they later converted into a limited liability company or LLC. As an LLC, YouTube's net worth is private to the public and only the owner Alphabet Inc. has the only information about the YouTube's real net worth. YouTube was purchased by Google for $1.65 billion in stock which was completed on November 13, 2006. YouTube now operates as one of Google's subsidiaries. YouTube tried to follow Google in becoming a corporation, but soon they realized that they could make money without going public to sell stocks. Yes, YouTube is globalized. It is localized in 25 countries across 43 languages. Wow.